Alright, hey guys, uh, this is going to be another model review. This is going to be on the Nusen 50Z3, sorry about that, made by Diecast for Motions in 150th scale. Um, this is also comparable to the Bobcat 430 Mini Excavator, made by Bobcat. Uh, I got a couple of updates on this, I'll go ahead and do them when I'm doing the model review. Uh, anyway, moving on, uh, this is mainly a review on this model, so go ahead and get started on it. Oh, let me get my tripod right here. Um, yeah, no fancy tripod in it. Alright, this model is, like I said, 150th scale, so it is pretty tiny, but it is nice. The bucket is a three-tooth bucket. Nothing nice about it, but it is bigger than the bucket 430 bucket. And there it is right there. A little size comparison. So, and it does have all the links and stuff like you'd see on a normal excavator. The cylinders are really tiny compared to the Bobcat 430. And there it is again. So, it is a little bit more scaled right. And it does move a lot more free than that. But I think they could have went a little further back with the bucket. So, that is one bad thing about it. And it don't have a really deep digging depth. I mean, there's the digging depth on that. And here's the digging depth on the Bobcat 430. So it is... This one is a little deeper. I don't know why it's so white on the screen, so... Anyway, moving on. Your cab is kind of detailed. Uh, you got all your... You got, like, your traveling pedals there. And you can kind of see the joysticks in there. There's one there, and, of course, one there. And you do have a really big seat, so... That is nice about it. You, uh, you do have a cylinder right there where your stick is, or boom is, to tilt your boom. It goes further to one side than the other, so. And it does rotate 360. Now, this is a zero tail swing excavator, and I think it probably speaks its name because it does not have a counterweight on the back. And I'm not sure, but I think your engine's like right here under this cover. Your exhaust pipe's there, and you got your backup lights, and I think. I think that's your fuel cap or intake radiator. I'm not sure. I don't really know many excavators that good. So, On your undercarriage, there's your undercarriage. Um, your track's been really, really smooth, actually. It's a lot smoother than the Bobcat 430. I mean, one finger. And it rolls real smooth. So, the tracks are real nice, and they are rubber, so don't have to worry about breaking any links. But if somebody would ask me if I like metal or rubber tracks, I'd probably say rubber because they roll smoother and they last longer in metal. I mean, if you play with your models, then yes, they will last longer. But metal tracks are a lot nicer, but it'd probably be too expensive for this. This model was already thirty dollars with shipping, so it'd probably be a, like the Komatsu PC forty or something like that. So uh your dozer blade does raise and lower. You only got one cylinder there to raise and lower it, but I mean with the Bobcat 430, don't raise them. So, uh, that is some positive stuff. So, I think that's about it for this model review. Uh, it is pretty nice, I will say that. And I do think it is worth the $30, but too bad they're not making any more. So, I mean, if you look around, you could probably still buy some or find some, like at Buffalo Road Imports. or I don't know if DHS Diecast is still, still, in, or still having any or selling any. They do have the Jill... Uh, I don't know the numbers on it, but it's basically the same size as this, so. And I think it's also made by Diecast Promotions, so. Anyway, the reason why I got the Nuisance is because I've never seen a Nuisance excavator on YouTube, a model, so. But I'm not sure if it's European or what, so. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.